Hi, good morning. No, afternoon, afternoon. We're on the afternoon in Queensland, Australia. It's Jilly Cube. I'm coming to you with hopefully a quick three cup flip. I hope this is enough. They are the bigger cups. They're the bigger coffee cups. They're the smaller coffee cups are those. So they're the bigger ones. I'm going to quickly put on some gloves. I've got a bit of leftover paints. And I thought, what better than a flip and lip for a quick, a quick, um, oh, those gloves are wet and I can't get my hands into them. A quick flip, flip and lip on a Friday afternoon here in Queensland before we go out just to our local, um, local club in our little country town for our meal. So I'm just fitting this one in and doing a flip cup. It'll be hopefully a flip and lip. So these are all the Montmartre Studio Acrylics. Um, that's the white. I have done them with the uh, PVA glue, PVA glue and water. The pouring medium recipe is in the drop down box underneath this video. That's a pink that I made up out of just actually white and adding a little bit of red to it. So it was for another piece that I did this week but um, here we go so I hope that you're all going well and you're I mean some people are back to work and life is sort of getting back to normal but I certainly am here I am hearing that in other countries things are not back to normal or so I just hope that you're all coping well in Queensland, here in Queensland, Australia, we've done, you know, we've been very lucky to avoid a um, real uh, load of trouble with things. So, but I won't dwell on that. You've got to move on and do your best and occupy yourself, I believe, with things that bring you joy. So you can um, just hopefully rise above the horrible situation that a lot of people are in but keep yourself busy that's that's the only thing that kind of makes my life um oh it isn't the only thing that makes my life better but it's a thing that helps me to feel better is in my art room you kind of I can kind of disappear and shut the doors and just be off in my own little world here um so I'm very lucky to have this room but I did start off on my laundry bench when I started this uh, acrylic pouring journey probably not quite two years ago um, oh, I can remember having a notification that said uh, congrat oh, it was February 2019 congratulations you have a hundred subscribers on your YouTube channel so that was February 2019. So here we are, um, what are we in July 2020? And I'm just under 70,000 subscribers. And I am absolutely ecstatic. Um, what color do I want to add to that now? Let me think, let me think, shall I go? Shall I be cheeky and add some of this really bright lemon? I'm, they're just colours that I have sitting here, so I'm going to just see how we go with them. I'm just hoping that they don't go muddy or mix too much. Just keeping it going, 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 and I'll add the red so they're your um, primary colours. That the word that I'm trying to think of. I think we might have enough paint. I'm not sure. Somebody asked me to tell them the measurements that I use of paint for each um, particular canvas. Well, I just play it by ear. I just make up a big load of paint and I keep pouring until I've used all the paint. So I don't. I do not measure anything. I don't want to do it so methodical and it's just not me there are lots of other artists that do it down to the you know the last 
mill and add this and that. I'm just not that one, I'm sorry. Well, I shouldn't have to apologise and I don't apologise because that's just me. So I just find that when you're mixing up your paints, you can give somebody a measurement that you use 20 mils of this or 50 grams of this and then they, they do it down to your exact measurements and it doesn't work for them because it's too thick or too thin because somebody's using a different brand paint or a different brand pouring medium and they do not all even uh, same brands need different amounts because of densities so I don't give colours I, mean, I don't give colours I don't give uh, measurements so I'm sorry that is this is the last drop this was the uh, berry delicious that I'd made up in the week so it's not the last drop I've got a fair bit here so I just might top it off with that so I'm looking forward to a good weekend I'm gonna make it good no matter what oh just use this last little bit of white Yes, I'm going to make sure we have a good weekend and I get a walk out with the dogs. We've got to take our shepherd very, um, just very light exercise and not let her bounce about too much because she's so heavily pregnant now. So it'd be interesting. I should take bets on how many puppies we have. Anyway, let's get down and do this flippy cuppy. Flippy cuppius. Oh, woo! Fire and ice. Do I go? Not sure whether to do that one down. Yes, let's just do it. Okay. Wow. I'm loving it already. I've got some because I put that gold in. That's very shimmery. Shimmery. I love that word. Shimmery. Um, it's already making it glisten. I just hope it doesn't mix too much. So here we go. Ooh, let's go back up the other way. So that's the lip, lipping it through. A nice thing to um, oh, look at that look at that's in there that's beautiful well I've got some paint left in the two of those so I'll just wait and see how we go wowzers I love this putting the lip through it just adds that bit of interest to it instead of it just being oh, look at some of this lacing I've got something that's splitting a bit in here. It might be my white. Sometimes that happens and sometimes it doesn't with white. Flip and lip, wowzers. Wowzers trousers, okay. Let's get on with this. let me heat gun go over it before I let it go around but wow that looks pretty unique <laughs> if I do say so I'll just burst the bubbles at the minute any air bubbles with my wonder wand just gonna tilt this slightly Oh, sometimes you look at it and you don't want to tilt it at all, but you know there's just too much paint on there. And then if you leave too much paint on there, then you've got the chance that it might... I don't want to... I'm not going to worry about that corner. I'm going to... This is splitting for whatever reason, and it looks like it's the white. But sometimes even the splits don't look so bad because they can make it look... Um, it still looks good. So just I'm oh, taking it a bit fast, so I need to slow down. It's 
somebody asked me, can you balloon kiss over a um, flip cup? And I'll say, absolutely, yes, I've done that many times. If you know me, I'll balloon kiss over anything. Anything whatsoever is worthy of a balloon kiss. That dark colour is actually the dark berry, so it does dry really lovely and lush. As usual, I've got way too much paint, so that's probably the negative side of not measuring exactly, but you know, it's mostly, um, mostly is pouring medium and it's my glue and um, water mix. So, wow. That's, oh, I need to add some heat to that. Sorry, I just had to get all that mess off my hands. Okay, here again, here we go. That's pretty good. It's got some kind of little floating island appeared. I'm not sure why, but look at these. Like a whole like, little colony of um, caterpillars. All Montmartre colours. See if I can get something nice to come up in this. I might walk away from it and leave. Oh, look at this. Look at these coming up. Beautiful. I will definitely put some photographs of these unexpected little these look like complete gems coming up in there gems and clusters beautiful looks like a real jewel jewel of jilly not jewel of the nile jewel of jilly okay wow look at these oh opals and of all kind colors opals crystals of the cells and lacing I'm really um oh my goodness <laughs> that is a complete surprise I must admit I didn't expect that I wasn't expecting that I have to put that in my title okay that's it folks I will leave it to dry and I will put some photos on at the end I'll give you a bit of a close-up Oh, it's so much brighter in person than it looks through this canvas. Uh, canvas. Canvas on the brain. Camera. Look at those cells. Wowzers. Trousers. Okay, I'm off out for a meal with my hubby. Um, so you guys enjoy, enjoy, enjoy whether you have a nice meal at home. And a happy time i will add my joke in a second but thank you so much for joining me if you haven't subscribed please do so i really really appreciate it thank you bye for now well i hope you all enjoyed that a flip cup pour for today now here is my nana joke why couldn't the bike stand up for itself it was too tired okay you can roll your eyes until next time bye for now